Some of the creepiest mysteries from around the world aren't ones of unsolved deaths or strange disappearances. Sometimes unsolved mysteries that simply don't make any sense can cause the biggest chills. We like to think we live in a world where rational answers can always be found, even if it takes a while to get there. Unfortunately, these five cases prove that's not the case. Number 5 This mystery captured headlines in January of this year, but very little in any way of answers has been uncovered since the story was first reported. On December 30th, 2019, authorities responded to a call that a vehicle had driven off a cliff in San Mateo, California. It was 11 a.m. in the morning and a clear day, so there appeared to be no external factors as to why the accident would occur. However, the accident itself wasn't too mysterious. This was a highway, so the vehicle wasn't out of place, and there was a bend in the road. It could have been something as simple as a driver error, mechanical issue, or even an intentional suicide. However, when authorities arrived on the scene, there was no sign of the vehicle at all. Patrol helicopters, boats, and jet skis were used to search the waters below the cliff. Only a few fragments of car debris, which may have not even been connected to the accident, and tire tracks on the cliff edge were found. Dashcam footage recorded by someone traveling in the opposite direction captured the moment the SUV drove off the cliff. Authorities released the video and a description of the SUV in hopes someone might recognize it and link it to a disappearance that may have taken place. So far, no one has come forward, and since then the case has gone cold. The search was called off after a few days with little in the way of evidence, leading many to question whether it happened at all. It's possible the video was in some way edited. What has been released cuts off before the vehicle begins to fall, and some have suggested it's an ordinary video of a car driving imposed onto the video of the cliffside. However, it's likely police have the extended video and have only released the small snippet. Another suggestion is the vehicle somehow survived the fall, the car landing in a spot that couldn't be seen, and the occupants not coming forward afterwards to claim their five minutes of fame. Given the cliff face and the trajectory the vehicle was heading, this also seems unlikely. Number 4 Mystery street artists aren't exactly uncommon, but the creator of Toy and Bee Tiles managed to become an international phenomenon without even a stage name being revealed to the public. The tiles began to appear in downtown Pittsburgh in the 1980s. They were colorful mosaic-like pieces of art pressed down into roads by the heat and pressure of cars driving over them. Most of the tiles contained the same cryptic message, the first line of which lends the tiles their name. Toy NB Idea, in movie 2001, Resurrect Dead on Planet Jupiter. Some have additional messages in smaller writing, while others don't include the usual Toy NB message at all, instead focusing on the apparent evils of American media. Sleuths are fairly sure that they have the main Toy NB message figured out. It's largely believed Toy NB Idea refers to a philosopher named Arnold Toy NB who hypothesized that dead human particles could be brought back to life. Movie 2001 is likely a reference to Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, which itself has multiple conspiracy theories attached to it. In the movie, the main characters travel to Jupiter. The creator of the tile seems to suggest resurrecting the dead using Arnold Toynbee's idea and starting a new civilization on Jupiter. The strange message is easy to brush off as a weird practical joke, but the large number of tiles, all of which appear to have been handcrafted, seem to suggest there's more to this than a simple joke. In 2011, a documentary set out to answer the question of who was the Toy and Bee Tyler and what were his goals. They apparently tracked down the Tyler and Pittsburgh-born artist. His neighbors claim he spoke to them about his work. The crew found discarded practice tiles, and they even believe that they know the mechanism he used to lay his tiles. The artist apparently had a modified car with the removed floorboard that allowed him to drop the tiles without exiting the vehicle. However, the documentary didn't reveal his identity, and the tiler remains anonymous to this day. 
Without any public interviews, the question of why is likely to be unanswered. It's possible that Tyler simply wanted to start a conversation about Toynbee's ideas, but that conclusion hasn't satisfied many theorists. Number 3 Some strange things have been found beneath the streets of London by workers making way for new installments or additions to the network of trains that run underneath the city. But the strangest anybody has ever come across is likely the remains of a Pacific walrus found in an old graveyard. The walrus was found in 2013 when excavations were being made to expand London's King Cross Pencrest Station, the train station at one end of the channel connecting Britain and France. Part of the excavation covered the old site of St. Pancras Church and the graveyard that had been used in the 1800s. When old graveyards are excavated for new developments, the remains of those buried there must be reburied somewhere else, usually in a nearby graveyard. As archaeologists exhumed the bodies in order to relocate them, they came across an unusual coffin. Inside were the remains of at least eight people and one walrus. While it wasn't entirely uncommon for rich Victorians to bring back exotic creatures and plants from their travels around the world, this particular walrus would have had to have made the journey from the Bering Sea. It would have weighed up to two tons and had tusks like an elephant. Such a strange creature wouldn't have been buried in such a fashion if it were a pet. There was no research being done on walruses at the London Zoological Society at the time, although two were housed in the zoological gardens around the time. It's possible, though unlikely, the mystery walrus was one of these, but it still doesn't explain why it was buried in a coffin with eight humans. One morbid possibility is that the walrus and the others in the coffin were the victims of grave robbing. Due to the demand for corpses for medical research, grave robbing wasn't uncommon at the time. The theory suggests the walrus could have been a beloved pet that was snatched from its final resting place, along with the eight other bodies, and they were all sealed together once the research was complete. Number 2 It would be easy to write off the mysterious Le Loyan as an urban legend if it were not for the seriousness local police have taken, the possible cryptid and the later death certificate associated with it. For a decade, people from the small town of Malls in West Switzerland spoke of a mysterious man with a gas mask that walked through the neighboring forest. Nicknamed the Ghost of Malls or Le Loyan, the stranger was said to walk the same route through the forest every day. He's said to wear leathers, a soldier's camo, and a long cape, and of course a gas mask covering his face. For years, people speculated about who or what the mysterious creature could be. At first, it wasn't even clear if this was a man or a woman, or something else, which led some to suggest that it was a mentally ill woman wandering through the forest in search of someone. Others suggested it was a man with a skin condition who had been shunned by society. The possibility that this was a genuine ghost caught in a cycle was also put forward. Police responded to every sighting of Le Loyan. Even though it didn't seem to be doing anything illegal, they wanted to ask him to stop scaring locals. However, it wasn't until a photograph was taken in 2013 that they got their first look at the creature. The photo was taken from behind, so it doesn't capture the creature's gas mask. Instead, it simply seemed to be a man wearing a camo-style cloak. The simplicity of it led to many people discussing it being a hoax, but the photographer insisted it was real. His story was given more weight when just a few months later, hikers found Le Loyon's gas mask and leathers along the trail that it had walked. Along with the belongings was a note titled The Death Certificate and Testimony of the Ghost of Malls. In the note, he claimed to be an ordinary person who simply enjoyed walking through the forest. He accused the paper that published his photo of murdering a harmless beast, as the media attention meant he would be forced to give up his walks. Le Loyan hasn't been seen since the incident, leading most to believe the letter was authentic. However, who the ghost of Malls was and why he acted so peculiarly is still a mystery. Number 1 Today, blimps are mostly used for advertising or covering sporting events, but this hasn't always been the case. 
In the 1940s, the U.S. Navy had around 50 of these airships, which were primarily used to search for enemy submarines. On August 16, 1942, one such blimp left the man-made naval outpost in San Francisco Bay for its routine patrol. It was piloted by two men with experience aboard this style of airship, and neither had any reported issues prior to that day. They radioed in to control that they were investigating a suspicious oil slick, one of the signs a submarine was in the area. This was the last time anyone would speak to either man. The crew of a nearby cargo ship watched the blimp circle flares it had dropped, typical of a blimp investigating an oil slick. It got down low to the water, almost resting upon it, before ascending again and heading back to mainland. At this point, there was nothing out of the ordinary about the crew's actions. However, that changed when the blimp began to descend over Dolly Sea in California. It was deflating and the engine was turned off. It came to rest atop a house before drifting off into electrical wires and finally landing on the ground. Rescue workers rushed to the scene only to find there was nobody to rescue. The gondola, where the crew should have been, was completely unharmed in the landing, but the crew were nowhere to be seen. No parachutes had been taken and the lifeboat was still attached. The only thing missing from the gondola other than the crew were two life jackets, but it was common for pilots to wear these while sailing over water. Navy investigators found no reason for the crew to have abandoned ship. There was no sign of a fire, attack, or any mechanical issue. Also, every blimp carried a weighted briefcase filled with classified documents, which was to be thrown overboard in the event of an emergency. This was also found in the gondola. The best theory anyone has put forward so far is that one of the men fell out of the blimp while it was investigating the oil slick. The other tried to help, only to fall out himself. However, the crew was never found, and one eyewitness insisted she saw three men aboard the gondola as it sailed toward Dolly City, meaning not only were both the crew on board, but also a stowaway who could have been responsible for the strange events. To this day, no conclusive answer has been found, and it's likely to always remain a mystery. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep up to date with all of our future uploads. But I've been Ty Knotts, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.